Hello, and welcome to another episode of the Legislative Lens Spotlighting State Laws podcast. In this episode, we're dealing with the topic of House Bill 3 out of the great state of Texas and how this bill impacts you, your community, your schools as a whole. Uh, House Bill 3 deals with school, public school safety. And this bill was passed in the light in lieu of what the post Uvalde school massacre events that have transpired inside of the city of Uvalde and in uh, that events that occurred there. So this law will greatly impact uh, the, the public school systems across the state of Texas. And what this law does is it raises the funding for in any for the school system to hire a armed security officer or resource officer, depending on how you want to use the terminology. And there's a lot of lingo here, so we kind of want to get down into it. So this law was passed after the events of the Uvalde school shooting. And that this law states that each school district shall determine the appropriate number of armed security officers for each district campus based on size and or each at least one armed security officer to be present during regular school hours at each district campus. The officer must be a must be a school district police officer or school resource officer a, or a commissioned peace officer employed as security personnel under Education Code 37081. Okay. Um, the key point there, a lot of municipalities and a lot of school districts will use um, police officers uh, or commissioned officers in that situation. Um, if the Board of Trustees of a school district is unable to, to ensure the above, the board may claim a good cause exemption from the requirement to comply, but must be not due to availability of funding or personnel who qualify to serve. So basically, it's giving them little option. They must have it. OK. Uh, a couple other things. Uh, it could be the size of the school district, it could be only three schools and it might very well could be that, okay? Uh, the key use of that, there's also terminology in the law that states that only certain number of contractors could be used in the case of this uh, hiring of an armed security officer, okay? Uh, another key rule to this is Section 12 and Section 16 of the house bill in each district an open enrollment charter school shall provide to department of public safety and all local law enforcement agencies and emergency first responders an accurate map of each district campus and school building that is developed and documented in accordance with the standards described by the texas education code related to the developing sites and floor plans action access control and interior door numbering an opportunity to conduct a walkthrough with each district campus and school building used in the maps. What that is really doing is it's allowing local municipality law enforcement officers inside also the state to really see inside the school. And I think the Uvalde school shooting, there was different issues um, that resulted in, in school shootings as a whole uh, across the country that training is important. Knowing knowledge is also important. Okay. Every five years that the state, uh, the safety school center and the Department of Public Safety will review the facility standards and see if best practices for school safety need to be implemented or additional safety measures need to be implemented to continue protecting the students of the school district. Okay. When it comes down to a lot of this is protecting the students inside the school districts. 
but it's also giving them the funding to do so. And I believe it's $15,000 per armed resource officer, which is not much. Um, I think some more funding could be done there and more, maybe an opportunity there for additional, you know, funding could be done here. So, okay. This also, this legislation also incorporates something called the Texas School Safety Center. And it's going to be tasked with really the importance of a safety and security department inside of the Texas Education uh, Department, school, school Boards. And it really, it, it's overseeing superintendents and other faculty members to make sure that they're within compliance. Um, really, at the onset of all of this, is to making sure students are always at the continuation and will always be safe and schools should be a safe haven for students um, from, from any intent of an intruder or any kind of violence. Um, it's a tragedy that we have to think about this as a society that we have to think about that a person who is of unhealthy mind think it was a, 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 a an opportunity to go into a school and kill people because of their mental health. Okay. I will see this isn't about being political. This is about acknowledging a situation and saying we can do better. Okay. Um, I think universally across the board, mental health, especially younger, the younger generation, it, it needs to be addressed uh, in, a, in a light, in a light that is important, but also with empathy, but also with funding in mind. Okay. Um, there's different challenges that every single person in society faces, but violence isn't the answer. And the Uvalde's parents that suffered loss other loved ones were pushing for having assault rifles, uh, the age of assault rifles being moved from 18 to 21, which is a very, very difficult challenge. Not because and it's not just this state, but across the entire country. Um, and that's where you know, I think uh, this in challenges of themselves, it, it really is a challenge to talk about that. So the one thing that needs to be really truly addressed as well is is mental health. And I understand that these school measures are dealing with the security part, but also there is a training component, a part of this law that's important as well. The Department of Education in the great state of Texas is also incorporating that uh, educators as well as students go through training to identify um, mental health um, and, and their issues that could arise from someone that is not uh, of the of 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 good mind, um, and, and that's really it's really dealing with the signs of someone going through an episode and how to navigate through that and how to continually spot those and identify those for the safety of the entire student population. OK, um, I believe the Texas education uh, requirement is now 15 hours and it must and it must be renewed on a yearly or bi yearly basis. So. I, I think this is an opportunity here. Um, the funding is actually one hundred and forty million dollars uh, for the um, mental health training and professionals, uh, as well as adding those two school districts as well. I think there's an opportunity here um, that a lot of educators and professionals need to understand as well as that young people are navigating through society at a different level than we did and not saying that we, and we turned out just fine. We really didn't. Um, we turned out to the way that we expected ourselves to. And the things that are occurring now in society with some of these school shootings is very eye-opening. Uh, I think we as a society can do better. And I'm not talking about gun banning. I'm not talking about, I think we need to ad address the elephant in the room, 
which is mental health. Um, there needs to be more professionals. Yes, there needs to be a security. Yes, there needs to be police. Yes, there needs to be that. But we need to be able to identify someone's on the spectrum. Someone's going through an episode. Someone's not healthy. We need to isolate them. We need to get them some help and and let them go through the process and going, going through so. So this episode really has to deal with that, uh, talking about the implementation of a security or resource officer, or armed guard at every building in Scottish School District, as well as the funding for that, as well as the mental health training initiatives that were added, and also the auditing and the revisitation of securing the maps of these buildings and so that we can potentially deter and prevent further school shootings in the state of Texas. I appreciate your time as always. Thank you for listening. Have a great day. Feel free to subscribe to us on social media. Thank you.